Now the water boil notice has been lifted in West Springfield and power is slowly being restored across the city, but many are still in the dark without heat, lights, or clean water. As KEZI 9 News reporter Jennifer Singh shows us, many of those without power are families within the Springfield School District and they're taking advantage of resources available. How do you feel coming here? Um, are you happy? Yeah, you're happy you can come here and eat some food? As thousands of people in Springfield have regained power, thousands have not, including nearly half of Springfield's public schools. We've seen the same damages at our school campuses as you see around the Springfield community. There's significant tree downfall, and so we have entrances and exits that are blocked by down trees and limbs. And while many schools remain without power, two schools in the district that do have power have been converted into a safe space for families still without power and or clean water. We have some respite centers open from 7 in the morning until 7 in the evening where they can come and gather, have a warm space to, to be, to get a warm meal, to charge their devices. So we are trying to support some of our families that are experiencing these difficult, difficulties right now. The two respite centers are at Springfield High School and Two River Dos Rios Elementary School. This was a great opportunity, you know what I mean, to come today and get a hot meal and just out of the house, to be honest. Um, she, I think she was going stir crazy. <laughs> and as many parents want to get their kids back in school for good, so does the school district. But they're making sure it's 100% safe before they open back up all school doors. School district crews have been assessing facilities and clearing pathways and entrances to the schools so that as soon as power is restored, they can be entered safely. The Springfield Utility Board says as they work restoring power around the city, they are focusing on public infrastructures first. As we work in areas where um, we can um, bring schools back online, they're definitely something we're aware of and considering. In Springfield, Jennifer Singh, KEZI 9 News.